welcome back to Let's Play Earthbound. We are out at the summit of Mount Etoy and we're about to go take a rest. I have no idea what he means by that, but whatever. What is that supposed to mean? Silence Falls. That just sounds like a horror film title. Okay. Would I like to dance? Sure. It's like the past couple of times anything happens, everybody has to dance all of a sudden. I don't get that. Music's nice, though. Are you sure you didn't plan this? It's awfully well choreographed. Now this is why this game needs to be remade. It would like be the best ever. Just do what uh, they did in Japan with um, the Game Boy Advance. And they did the Mother 1 and 2 release after 3 came out. That'd be neat. Just um, up the graphics for. Whoa, what? I barely know you, girl. Seriously? Fine. I'll just say yes because if I say no, she's probably just gonna make me dance and ask me again. God, it's cute and all, but just, eh, I know real life isn't like that. <laughs> yeah, I do hear something. That's weird. Okay, well then, like, you just keep leading me out the door. Why does that robot look familiar? Is that the one we shot with the tank? Hmm. Let's see. Oh well, that sucks. How am I supposed to kill this thing? Oh, I get it. That's way too much damage. There's something that either I have to do or I have to just let it kill me. Uh, yeah, we'll just auto it. Let's see what happens. I think he's just gonna wipe everyone out. Oh, goodness. Well, I guess I shouldn't have done auto then. He's just gonna drag this out. sit there and keep dodging. It's just weird. Yeah. I think you're supposed to supposed to let this thing knock you out. Let's see. So hmm. Wow, way to go Lloyd. I look like I got fried. Where did he even get a tank? Oh, at least I'm healed. Oh, okay, so she's back in my party. Oh, that's not a comforting sight. Okay, Doc, why so quiet? So is Lloyd? Weird. How do you know that? Guess that's good enough. Hmm. 
Wow, be a dick to the guy who's lay down on a bed and can't get up. Way to go. Uh, I'm all the way down here. So I gotta go in and back up. Oh wait, does he have anything equipped? Okay, good. So he still has everything. <clears throat> Alright, so moving forward. Yay. Mooks aren't really that hard. They're just kind of like tedious. But I just realized Lloyd's only level 27, so that kind of sucks. Everybody else is way higher, but I guess that's because this was a high level area and we had Teddy doing all the fights for us. Well, at least we're not too bad off. I mean, we can still hold down a fight. They just take longer than they used to. Let's see. <laughs> Lloyd. That's always a good thing. He's got to catch up. It's weird to think when I first got Anna, she was level 1, Lloyd was like level 18-ish, and then I had to train her. Now it's all backwards. Plus he's in the wrong placement too. I thought he was going to go back in the center, but I guess not. One thing I kind of wish they would have in this game would be the row system that they have in Final Fantasy, where you can put someone who's weaker physically but stronger with uh, magic or in this case psi energy, you just stick them in the back row because that damage doesn't change. Another level up. Yay! Unfortunately it's for Ninten and not for Lloyd, but I'll take it anyway because a level up is a level up. Oh wow, okay, so everybody but Lloyd then? Almost out. out of here. The only thing is it kind of drives me crazy is like Teddy got a final weapon and everything and yet now it's just like no more Teddy. So where's Lloyd's end weapon? Like I want that. Somebody give me that now please. I'm hoping I'll find it before the end of the game but I think we are at the end. The only thing that I just realized we haven't done yet that we probably could have done a while ago is that dragon sleeping in the underground passage at Magison. We'll probably go back there and check on that because I think he gives us some music notes that we need. Wow, oh, you did a doozy on me. That must be one of the most unusual healing moments ever. Your friend gets knocked out by a gargoyle while you're climbing on a rope. And then all of a sudden, he gets revived. It's like you wake up from being asleep and someone's like, Quick, grab the rope before you fall. <laughs> that would really suck.
Okay, now everybody's back up to where they are. I can't remember where I'm going in this area, so hopefully we find the shack soon. Should be right over- yeah, there it is. Get some heals on. <clears throat> By that I don't mean the shoes, I just mean healing. But whatever, Let's see what my dad's up to. I realize this is the only inanimate object in the game that you're actually supposed to hit the talk command to. Otherwise, you're supposed to check everything. I find that weird. But I guess because you talk on the phone, it kind of makes sense. Man, without Teddy, these Omooks and everything else I've been fighting suck so hard. I don't like... like an idiot. <clears throat> Let's excuse me. Oh, well, of course, because he knows how to handle mechanical stuff. I'm gonna have to go to Magison after this thing. <clears throat> Talk about weird. Ooh, factories are weird, too. They're kind of creepy. Makes me think of Contra, though. <laughs> it's probably because it looks kind of similar. <laughs> a lot of gray and a lot of red. So yeah, new place. Hmm. Wonder if we should wander around for a bit. I guess so. Doesn't seem to be any enemy encounters. That's pretty cool. Of course, it'll probably prove us wrong. It'll be like this giant boss fight that kills like everybody. So far, this seems pretty straightforward. Just door after door. Whoa. Hey, is this some kind of aquarium? Cool. Why are there only two fish in it, though? There should be like a whale in there or something. Oh, hey, more fish. These are red. So there's blue fish and red fish. I wonder if there's gonna be any other kind of fish. this place even? Oh, now there's red and blue fish, and it's a bigger tank. Hmm. Oh, there's two tanks. Well then. And another door. Well, there's a ladder here. I kind of want to go up that first. Let's see what's up here. Oh god. It's a robot. I'm a little concerned. Whoa, are those cracks in the glass? That's not good. Okay, well, what happens if I talk to it? It doesn't acknowledge it. What about check? Huh. George. Isn't that Nintendo's grandfather's name? <coughs> I think so. Oh, what's going on? Oh, jeez. So... Yeah. Um... What? I have a giant robot following me now. Um, this is a bit much. Well, um... I'm gonna go ahead and cut this video here, and uh, when we come back, we will figure out what the heck we're supposed to do with this robot. 
But until then, I'll see y'all next time. Bye, you guys.